holding hands, showing love and affection, sweet intimacy. It's what many long for. I definitely am interested in getting a date. Elizabeth Jackson would love to have a date for Valentine's, but she says there's no one in the picture because the last two years have been rough. I haven't had any. Actually, I've been single for a super long time. She's not alone. Many people are struggling to find the one. Social distancing and mask wearing have made it nearly impossible to make a connection. I think it's been a little bit stressful, you know, because you cannot have contact with people normally. I think it's more challenging. People are having a hard time just really meeting one another. Kimmy Seltzer is a dating strategist and therapist. She says mask or no mask, you can make a connection with a stranger. And you can still smile behind the mask. Even though that you have that barrier, you can connect with your eyes and smile with your eyes and just say hello to people. In her workshops, Kimmy encourages people to reevaluate their wardrobe, stop wearing sweats, and buy an outfit that makes them feel amazing. A lot of times people hide in their clothes and you can be in your little cocoon and maybe you're scared of being seen. Now's the time to get used to being seen and embracing that. It's all about creating an energy Kimmy calls the charisma glow. It's a magnetic energy that just draws people to you and it's about you. And once you draw people in, Kimmy says go on dates as many as you want. Your dating portfolio should look like your financial portfolio. You need to diversify as much as possible in order to prevent burnout. All good advice. As for Elizabeth, she's planning on making some changes. I just realized life is short. If I'm interested in a guy, I'm definitely going to go after him. And one last tip from the dating expert. She says flirt a lot. If you're playful, you open yourself up to new possibilities. So get out there and flirt. I'm Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.